The Raspberry Pi Pico is a new microcontroller board released from Raspberry Pi based around the RP2040 chip. Now, this wee board I have seen used in multiple projects, and in this video today, I'm going to show you five projects that we've done on this channel that I think are tailored specifically towards gamers. Now, if you like this kind of thing, please think about liking, subscribing, commenting, and all that fun stuff. And uh, let's get stuck in. So, right off the bat, two for one, you can't beat that value. The first thing here is the Pico Cart 64. Now, this is a homebrew DIY flash cart for the N64, all powered by the Raspberry Pi Pico. You load up the ROMs one at a time onto this Raspberry Pi, as well as some of these emulators. Now, you can run Game Boy, there was NES that I never had any luck with, but you know the option is there. It also lets you run some cool homebrew, which is the biggest reason why I wanted to kind of build this, because, you know, the Dragon Ball Z in Portal. As well as some of these projects like this, the Transfer Boy, which is using the transfer pack at the back of the controller to play Game Boy games, which is insane. And now here, this is something I showed in a short, this is the K Beckman DVI mod. So basically this is attaching the Pico boot, no sorry, this is attaching the Pico to a HDMI breakout board and then soldering it all to the N64 video chip for homemade DIY output for the N64. Next up is the Xbox 360 NAND flasher. Now I'm going to throw links to all these videos down below. But this particular mod I did have some difficulty with, but when it came to the Raspberry Pi Pico flasher, absolutely zero issues. It worked completely as intended. So basically what this does is it hacks the, the NAND on the Xbox 360 when you boot it up and then lets you kind of load like a alternate payload, I think is the terminal, really, but I'm not entirely sure. But this lets you install Aurora, which basically lets you install loads of games to your hard drive. So with the way the Microsoft store is now with the Xbox 360 and everything like that, you know, being a bit funny, this is definitely the way to go. Raspberry Pi NAND flasher for the Xbox 360. Now, I think this is actually the first Raspberry Pi Pico that I installed. This is the GameCube Pico boot. So basically, again, similar to the Xbox, you throw this into the GameCube, wire it up, and it lets you boot Swiss off the SD card. This was a relatively simple install. Like again, hacking the, um, no sorry, flashing the the Pico is absolutely no bother. Some fine soldering, so as a beginner, it wasn't the easiest, but it did work. Again, this lets you boot up Swiss and boot games of an SD card. Definitely, definitely worth it. All right, this was definitely one of the, the wildest uh, ideas that I had. But again, I kind of came across uh, this idea while you know perusing uh, Pico projects online and I saw that somebody had done this. Now I'm no, I can't remember the guy's name off the top of my head, but it'll come to me and I'll throw all the links down below. But basically turning your DMG Game Boy into a console. So HDM, HDMI out and Bluetooth controller support using the actual games as well, you know, what else could you want? This was tricky, loads of wires as you saw there, but it was definitely worth it. I'm still having kind of some issues here and there with this, and I actually built my own, uh, designed my own shell and everything, so that was that was all brand new. But, um, aye, the DMG consoleizer mod, this, what can I say, this was fucking hard, but it was definitely, definitely worth it. So 
this might not be the best, but this was just one of the mods that I've done, or one of the builds that I've done rather, that was basically built by parts that I just happened to have, and I just wanted to see if it would work. Now I saw loads of different kind of builds with these using Arduino, uh, Arduino components, but I wanted to see if I could build one with the components that I had. Now again, the Raspberry Pi Pico itself is like five quid. The SD card reader was a couple of quid. The DV, uh, sorry, the HDMI board there was a couple of quid. So effectively building your own NES emulation console, like it was like maybe 20 quid at max. And again, this was just a project to see if it worked and it did. So like, this is why it's one of my, one of my favorites. Again, I think the Game Boy one is, it's complicated. But it's really cool. I like all the flashers to kind of load games and stuff like that onto consoles. And the um, the Pi Pico is proven useful for, you know, like homebrew DIY HDMI outputs, which I think is insane. Because all these kind of boards and all these kind of mods have been are like crazy expensive for some for some consoles. And like adding a HDMI to an N64 is fucking crazy money. And again outputting here some like HD NES and using a NES controller to play it I think is just amazing but um, that's my top five guys I'm going to kind of stop rambling on a wee bit here if there's any projects you think I should look into please let me know down below and uh, please like subscribe comment you know all that good stuff and uh, I'll see you in the next one thanks man